name's Hannah Stewart. I am a researcher and a lecturer at the Royal College of Art for two days a week. The rest of the week I kind of just sort of send any of us. I do consultancy, I do making, I do commissions, I do program management, anything to an extent, um, to kind of make ends meet within that. Like many people, we go back too long, basically. I mean, so look at the as well. We've basically spent a good 10 years of our professional lives involved in starting and making and building infrastructure and spaces around making, around manufacturing, around supporting startups and incubators. That's quite a commitment. Like, between, and this is only the people I know really closely, that's probably 40, 50, years of man hours and woman hours invested in this thing, where, where this thing is the maker movement and the idea that it's relevant to local regional economic development, that it's relevant to creating a better way of making things in the future, and that it's relevant to people and making their lives better, whether it's professionally or personally. So there's quite a lot of investment, so this is a really good point to have this conversation. <coughs> The conversation we want to have is, to some of us, a little over familiar. We've been talking about what the relationship is between making and manufacturing for the last kind of five years, but in quite niche groups, sometimes larger scale, sometimes smaller, sometimes testing things through research projects, sometimes testing things through just trying to hustle and make it work. And Although we've been having these conversations about making and manufacturing and we have a shared understanding of the state of play now and what it means and how we can make things differently, sometimes it feels like that conversation isn't going much beyond the room. So half of the purpose of today is to be able to take that conversation, maybe rerun, maybe some of this is a little familiar to those of us who are a little bit too close. But let's record it. Let's get it outside of this room. So that when someone says, oh, what's the relationship between makers as an idea and craftspeople as an ecosystem, we can kind of point them at it. We can stop having that conversation to an extent, but not stop having because it's not a worthwhile conversation, but stop having because we're ready to move on. There's a maturity here that we would like to be taking forward, and we'd like the discourse, we'd like the conversation, and we'd like the people outside this room as well to be able to come with us into that kind of next phase of the relationship between making and scale and success. So I'm going to chair a number of panels today. And we've got great people on each of them. You'll have seen the very inspired when you signed up. I'm going to let them each introduce themselves because someone bludgeoning your life history is a terrible thing to experience. <laughs> so you can bludgeon your own life histories when you introduce yourselves. Um, and I would like to invite our first panel. Oh, so we've got 